And welcome to the 2023 ARIA Awards, Australian Music's Night of Nights. Now we're here live on the red carpet. I can promise you some fabulous fashion tonight. We're going to get up close and personal with the biggest names in Australian music. And there might even be a few controversial moments these musos like to let their hair down. So make sure you stay tuned and head to news.com.au for any other info. I'm here with Dami Im. You have well and truly brought the glamour to the Arias. You look incredible. Can you talk me through your outfit? Yes, yeah, so I'm wearing a amazing Sydney designer called Volk. Exactly. And also a necklace by Wallace with 123 diamonds. Oh, had to include that, my God. And a Toblerone, of course, because you can, why not? Now this lady needs absolutely no introduction. But how are you feeling? You've gone for a fresh new look here. I'm loving this hair. I sure did. I think that's the whole, you know, point. I'm about to release some new music and I wanted to go with the flow of where I am going musically and emotionally with it. And this is just something that I felt really empowered by. Um, and working with my incredible team, um, obviously styled by Fleur, who's such an incredible, strong woman. And she just, um, she gets me musically and it's nice to be able to infuse that in, in the outfits that I get to work with. What do you think everyone should do to support Australian music, get behind all the Aussie acts? Get out and see them live as much as you possibly can. Supporting live music, I think, is probably the key in this business at the moment. CDs. And buy CDs. Go back old school. Buy CDs. Buy merch. Okay. See them live. The whole thing. Hey, I feel a little bit nervous. Pretty excited. I was just saying, like, you know, I live six hours from here in a farm, so we're in the big smoke. We're all dressed up. <laughs> doesn't look like you live on a farm. This is a fabulous outfit. I so would probably wouldn't, wouldn't wear that. This out in the paddock. Though. Not normally in this attire, no, 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 uh, no. Don't think it's quite appropriate to be going around in heels. It's been a big year for you. How would you sum up this year in a couple of words? It's been twirly. There's a lot of Wombat Wednesdays, which is today, Wombat Wednesday. And just a lot of love in the room. I'm here with the Australian of the Year, Dylan Alcock. Welcome to the Arias. How you going? I'm great. I love the Arias. I think it's my favourite one. Musicians are much better looking than sports people, I've decided as well. Everyone looks so great. So they make it a little more loose, don't they, than the sports land? You wear, like I'm wearing a triple white suit. Last time I wore white was Wimbledon. Because I only wear black because I get dirty hands. Because I'm in a wheelchair. So if I'm, I'm clean at the moment. Give me five minutes and I'll be dirty. But I'm here with Taryn Stokes, the winner of The Voice. Congratulations first up. How are you feeling tonight? I feel great, yeah. I'm having a great time already. Music's not a nine. Now tell me about this outfit. It's Camilla, am I right? Yes, it is Camilla. I love her stuff. This is like the second dress I've worn in the last few months. What's the key to supporting Australian musicians? Uh, buy it. <laughs> buy it. You look spectacular tonight. Thank you, the sun's shining and so am I. It's a perfect and interesting outfit. I like You look great. Thank you. Can you talk me through this outfit? Did you select it with your style? Oh no, my stylist would have selected it yet. You look great. Now, free some colour. What do you think we need to do to really support and get behind Australian artists? I mean, I think it starts from saying the bottom up, you know, I think it's about like uh, encouraging songwriting in schools and then taking emerging artists who are breaking out, giving them more and more performance opportunities. And I think it's about putting music at the centre of culture here in Australia. Now I'm here with Baker Boy now. Have you come down from the high of last year? You were the big winner last year. Yeah, I mean, like, it's, it's incredible to come back here and, you know, just think about like the time that I had last year and it was just you know incredible it's i'm here with g flip now i feel like your name is the name on everyone's lips at the moment it's all about g oh is it <laughs> is that your feeling oh yeah i'm it's pretty good to be here it's getting hot you're getting hot oh, well, you're in leather right? i know the sun's coming down but people have full body suits on so i'm at least on my arms out got the memo for the heat yeah yeah yeah. you look fantastic can you talk me through this outfit please well actually can you believe it i made this outfit out of all of my previous Aria gowns. Well, I just wow. embroidered all the bits on it anyway. I'm here with my favourite, and I think a lot of people's favourite, the Wiggles. Welcome, guys. You want to say hi to your little fans at home? Yeah, hey, little fans at home. <laughs> okay, Aria, what do we love about tonight? What's the, the main thing you want to see or hear? 
I love all the performances. It's um, you know, it's always really exciting. And you know, I've been coming to the Aries since the early '90s, so you know, it's seen a few things. Yeah, and it's really interesting how it's changed over time. Music changes, and um, yeah, but it's always exciting, and there's always something new, and there's so much talent out there. And um, radio, pick it up. I'm here with Bordura. Welcome to the Aria's Red Carpet. How are you feeling? Hey, I'm feeling really good. I'm really excited for tonight and yeah. Good. It's been a massive year of touring for you. How are you feeling? Is it whirlwind? Exhausted? Oh, I'm not ex- I'm not exhausted, but it has definitely been a whirlwind. Uh, me and my cousins have been, you know, since February, we've been on the road and um, I get the, uh, we're finally, you know, coming to the end of the year, so we're having a bit of a break. I was just saying before, I keep like every five minutes I sort of stare into space and just kind of like think about it and I don't know, I can't really process it. It's my absolute life- lifelong dream, so I- I'm really, really happy.